Hello everyone, I'm going to show you and teach you how to use banners and where to get your banners at. So the first thing you want to do is open your Firefox or any internet browser that you might be using and you want to type in movietools.info so you type that in, you press enter and then it will take you here. Alright, so you see that it says custom lower thirds in Sony Vegas and it has this little banner thing right there. I'm going to show you how to get that and how to use it. So you want to go to free downloads. Trust me, this isn't a virus. I did it. It's not a virus. So you go to free downloads and you can either pick any of these. You have motion objects, you have the banners, or you have the background movings. You can go to free lower thirds. Shut up! And then you can go down, it says documents, you can choose from any of these backgrounds. I picked this one. So once you get it, just click on it, when you get the one that you have, click on it and then go to um, download, simple. Make sure you save it to where you, you'll know that it's going to be. Alright, so mine's on the desktop. Now you want to open Sony Vegas might take a while. I don't know. As you can see, I got the new rocket dock. Very helpful. I love it. It's awesome. Don't have as many desktop icons as I did before. That's a nice thing. Alright, you're probably wondering what, how did he get his Sony Vegas to be red? I'm going to teach you that. So, to make yours red, it does not work for Sony Vegas 9, so it only works for eight, Vegas 8 though. So to get the color that you want, go to start and go to control panel. This is like for everything such as this and that and this. I chose that red because it's not bright in Sony Vegas. Alright so after that you go to appearance and personalization. If you have Vista I prefer control panel home much easier than the classic view. Alright now go to personalization go to window color and appearance now it's not really going to show up anything you can choose these but that's not going to work you have to go down to where it says open classic appearance properties for more color options so click on that and I'll bring up this box right here alright so here's the box don't mess around with this just go to advanced alright so you see that it says desktop. You want to put that to 3D objects. Then you want to go to the color. You can either pick from these colors or you can make a custom to whatever color you would like. And after that, you just press OK. And then you press apply. And now it'll be like 20 seconds or 30 seconds of waiting that says please wait while your screen goes black and white. And then I'll change the color to whatever color you chose and then Sony Vegas will be like this. Alright, back to the tutorial. Open or import your file. So I'm just going to open up a random one. Let's just go with the, the hangman. Alright, after that you go to right here, add video tracks. Okay, you see that it got up already. You just have to add one more video track above this. So now you'll see that it has this. Okay. Now you import your thing that you chose, your banner or whatever. Yeah, you import it.
did this to me last time and just doesn't want to load. Hope this isn't a long tutorial. Alright, so now you got it. Put it above your clip and drag it to however long you want it. So now all you see right here is gray. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Go to event pen slash crop. Go to masking. The easiest way is just to mask the outline of the banner that you chose. I'm not going to do it perfect. So, like in Gearsopedia, you can see like whenever they do their top plays, they have those banners and stuff. I've seen this one before. Now you can make one yourself. Alright, so after you mask it, you want to feather it. So put it to both and feather it up to however much you want. I usually do two or three. Just go with three because it's not that great. The mode positive anti alias, yes. Op opacity 100. And then there you go, it's a banner. Now you can go to check motion to make it smaller. You can move it wherever you would like. So like right there. Then you can just add text to it if you want. Sample text. Quiet! Just go to placement and you put it inside the thing. So it's a tutorial on how to make your Sony Vegas different colors and how to use banners and where to get banners and stuff like that. So I hope you liked it. Keep watching my videos. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace out.